Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know I will be made no acid. Yeah, I know I'm making acid, but like the melty acid. <laughs> Not like the good time acid. Or subjectively good time acid, I should say. There's too many doors, man. Which one's the one that has the wardrobe I can hide in? Where did the baron go? Who cares? <laughs> I don't want to go in this one directly in front of me. That's kind of sus. But that one's open. And that one doesn't even have a door. That one's closed. I can't see if there's a door back there. Ow, my eyes. I'm afraid. Is this a map? It is a map. I don't know what to do with it though. Looks like tools are in here and there's a lot of blood. Hello? There's a monster in here. I'd like to not know about it right now. Oh look, blood. Can I hide somewhere in this room? No? Okay, so if I die, I die. <sighs> I hate this. I hate this. I'm sweating. Well, what's the point? What's even the point? <laughs> Something is eating my feet right now. Ew, why did like... Okay, hold on. That was weird. His, his like gasp for air was only in my left ear. What kind of breathe- what kind of breathing is that? Hello? It just makes it sound like someone was right next to me as I was unconscious and as soon as I woke up they just breathed in my ear for me. Okay. How come I don't have like a like a concussion by now? I don't have any oil. I would like to say. And you know that might just be all my fault. Oh. Oh. Speak of the devil. So, can I just like Oh, I actually got it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Come on, Yin. Get out of here. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? I'm assuming, because there's literally no other door. Go on, then. What if I just give myself another concussion? Just... Oh, that made it worse! Oh my god. I will be neat about this door. I will say. Yeah, it's good enough. I'm gonna make sure I have good access. Ugh. I don't wanna do this, man. <laughs> Hello? Did it just save my game? Why did it save my game? We're just gonna go in here, okay? If I die, I die. It doesn't matter anymore, okay? Man, why you gotta close the door on me? It's not, that's not even- that's not polite. I'm a guest in your house. Got oil? <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> I'll take a- I could take a hammer. Uh. Oh no, I made a mess of this. I made a mess of this. I'm armed! God, I cannot wait- wait to play, like, Apex after this. God damn. <laughs> oh, give me this little baby hammer. It's literally so small. Like, the handle is so short. Look at that. And that's like that big. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. So. I have two of the chemicals. I need four. And it seems like there's literally exactly four rooms in this wine cellar, according to the map. 
Unless there's a room all the way in the back corner. Which is really dark and empty, and I don't really want to go back there. But there might be oil. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> let's just go. Uh, let's take a barrel. Full of blood. Or wine. Could be either, really, you know. I mean, that's... A fair excuse. Is that meat? Why do you just have meat hanging from the ceiling that's literally so tall? How is the butcher supposed to access that? And they all look disgusting. They're rotting, or dusty, or both. Not sure which one, but it's gross. Hello? Oh. Disgusting. I know it was one of us. <laughs> Who took a shite in the toilet and didn't flush? To burst. <laughs> My God, Wilhelm, do something! Do something? It sounds like he can't. Is this sounds like a situation he can't do anything about? <laughs> kind of sounds like that dude's dead. I don't like that. There's a wardrobe right here. My eyes hurt. Everything needs to get out of the wardrobe. Just in case. I also want that. Uh, so I have three. Ah, oh, I don't remember which one. It oh, the room I didn't go into is the one in the other other corner that's like farthest. That, that if you go down the stairs, you take a left. Yeah. Because I searched the one in front of the stairs. The one to the right of the stairs. And then this one that I'm in now. So... Okay. Math. Quick math. Okay. My name is Wilhelm. House of... <laughs> Ger Garrett? Jarek? Get. Garrich? Garrick? Uh, these are my final words. My confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I have brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... I don't think that happens when you starve to death. Unless they literally, like, beat themselves up or each other up and they got, like, broken bones everywhere and... It, like... I don't know. But the... Blood pouring from the eyes? I mean, that's not really, like, a... I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe it's part of the experiment. Well, that wouldn't make any sense. Eh, maybe he put it in the wine. But then he also drank the wine. Unless he drank water. Or something. Or had his own special bottle that he pulled from. But that'd be funny if he forgot which bottle was supposed to be his and he drank the wrong one and died. I think that would save us a whole lot of trouble if, if the Baron just died from his own stupid poison. Am I gonna need this? Hmm? Ah. <laughs> okay. 
I'm ready to absolutely poop my pants when the time comes. Wait, I have a question because I haven't encountered the monster yet. So I don't know if that's like just by chance or if it's supposed to happen. But, like, are those footsteps, like, actually the monster or not? Because... I'd like it to not be. Oh, there's another door. Shit, I don't want to go here! I hear footsteps, man! They're big and heavy! <sighs> I don't have any- anything. Son of a ding-dong. I'm gonna go get some oil, okay? I'm gonna get some oil, because that makes me feel better. I mean, they did mention, like, a shadow following me, but, like... I don't know, it's, like, the beginning part, so I almost don't even... And plus, the shadow could be, like, a literal physical form following me, and I'm just calling it a shadow, or it could be, like, my past. You know what I'm saying? Like, dark thoughts are following me around. Also, I don't know if Erin's even still here. She said she had to go. <laughs> but... Oh, oh yeah, there, there's Aaron. Aaron, I thought you said you gotta go. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're still here, but... Um, lots of sounds in the game. Yeah, I don't know how the game mechanics work, so... <laughs> I would like some oil, though. That would be nice. I have seven tinder boxes. Oh, that I had to go. Ah! <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> I guess I have to go in through this door, huh? If this- if this bitch comes out this door... And I can't run to my wardrobe that I've set up so nicely, I'm gonna be upset. Actually, thinking about it, I've totally forgot which room the wardrobe is in. So, you know, it doesn't matter. If I die, I die. I'm- We're gonna go this way first. Okay? Hmm? Away from the footsteps. Hmm? Nice. Wait. If I pick that up, is it gonna, uh, uh activate a thing? Because I don't want to activate a thing just yet. Because that's my last one, so I feel like that might activate some kind of... Cutscene or something? Uh, let's do it! Ah! <laughs> He's got some butt cheeks on him. Wait, whoa, 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 did he just close the door, like, with- Wait, hold on. Oh, no, this isn't the chemical thing. God, bitch. Big beefy man. Is he over here? Oh my god, that door is open now. I need to go! Where? Where's my wardrobe? Where's my wardrobe? <laughs> There's a potion back there? Oh, son of a ding dong. God, fuck! I need oil. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, bitch. All right. You want some of this? Wait, where is he? One fear. 
Wand fear. <laughs> there it is. It's mine, bitch. All right, asshole. All right. So 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 okay. Uh Uh to go back to the lab. I don't even know where it is. The lab. It's a crush from after I leave the wine cellar, right? Like directly forward? Cause I think yeah, cause upstairs is the archives. Okay. Okay. So oil? That'd be excellent, I'll be honest. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand veil the ground. Sounds about right. Hey, bitch! Stop with the fleshy sh- Ow! You cunt. Oh my god. 